First of all, we uh, should stop eating animals. <laughs> and uh, we should learn how to cook uh, vegetarian, because uh, vegetarian food is, can be very good. If you can cook well uh, vegetarian food, and then it's very easy for you to stop eating the flesh of animals. And uh, in the Sutra of the Sun's Flesh, the Buddha said that uh, we should eat in such a way to preserve uh, compassion in our heart. Otherwise, we'll be eating the flesh of our own sons and daughters. Uh, there is a story uh, told by the Buddha to his monks. There is a young couple who tried to flee the country. But through halfway through the desert, they run out of food. And they knew that they are going to die, three of them, the couple and a little boy. So after much reflection, they decided to kill the little boy and eat a piece of that flesh every day to survive. It's a very terrible um, decision. But finally they got out of the desert. They were accepted by the other country as refugees. So when the Buddha finished uh, telling the story, he asked the monks whether people can enjoy eating the flesh of their own son or daughter. And the monk said, no. <coughs> so the Buddha said that in that case, we should eat in such a way that can help preserve uh, compassion in our heart. Otherwise, we will be eating the flesh of our sons and daughters. So many uh, people, many children die because of a starvation, a lack of nutrition every day. And if you continue to eat meat and drink alcohol, it's like you are eating the flesh and drinking the blood. Because the amount of uh, grain used for feeding animals and making uh, alcohol is huge. So, uh, uh, not only uh, you have to show our compassion to animals, but to uh, human beings, because we are also, we might be also eating the flesh. <coughs> and uh, we have to learn how to eat. And there are ways to eat that can preserve uh, compassion and preserve uh, our beautiful planet and help uh, living beings uh, suffer less. That is the object of uh, the five uh, contemplations uh, before eating. And uh, at, uh, in every home, uh, before eating, the five contemplations may be read. Uh, so that we can uh, learn how to reduce the suffering, not only of animals, but also of uh, living beings. And there are organizations mm -hmm. protecting animals everywhere. And you can join uh, one of them in order to help. to show our compassion, uh, help us to heal ourselves. This, because compassion is a kind of energy that has the power to heal. When you are full of uh, anger and hate, it's difficult for you to heal. There's a kind of fire that is burning always in you, preventing you to heal. But once 
you have compassion in your heart, the healing takes place very easily. So cultivate compassion is not only for the sake of other people, but for your own sake. When compassion is born in your heart, you, do, you are not angry anymore at him, at her. So you heal yourself and you help that person to heal himself or herself. So compassion has a, a great power of healing. That is why all of us should learn how to, how to cultivate compassion. And compassion is very mighty, very powerful and not something weak like people used to think. Compassion with a lot of, with the energy of compassion in yourself, you can, you can do many things to help uh, the world.